Hi guys, today I'm going to be looking at Google Now, my Asus Transformer Prime. I'm going to be looking at some of the stuff I really like and some of the stuff I think it should do that it doesn't do already. So firstly I'm just going to show you how to get it. Well, not how to get it, but how to get to it. Only on Jellybean at the moment. There's three ways. Firstly you could just swipe up here and it'll open Google Now. Secondly, you can just hit the Google search at the top. And thirdly, you can pull up from the home key and swipe up and Google Now will appear. So as you can see, my Google Now is pretty much populated with sport. I've got Juventus here, a Chelsea match here, a San Diego Chargers match here that was played yesterday. Um, the weather, bus stop near me, um, and a the next Juventus game. So you can pretty much set most sports, they don't have some sports, they don't have quite a few sports really. I mean, they've got some of the main ones, they've got the football, the American football. They don't have tennis, they don't have the Formula One. Um, it probably will come eventually, but the sport is really nice. I mean, these are live scores, so it actually updates you as it goes along. So when this, the Juventus game or the Chargers game was happening, you could see it quarter by quarter the score and same with the event of score you could see as they went up and up it tells you the final scores it tells you that when they're next playing who they're next playing that will happen with this card you can swipe these away as you can see here it shows the Juventus versus Shakhtar is tomorrow it gives you a date on the actual day this date changes to a time and it tells you the time at which they're playing on the day so pretty useful stuff really um, it's also in your notification bar, so you can see there, get my emails. You can see here, it shows up with the final score of the Juventus game, 4-1. Uh, so you can quickly just go into your notifications and see the score instead of pulling up Google Now every time. Um, what? So, I mean, that's really good that it does all that sports stuff. I'll show you the settings, if I can find the settings. Um, settings is here. These are all the things you can do with it. Like I said, the sports don't have some stuff. I haven't actually got the cinema things to work. I'll turn them on. I don't think anything will happen anyway. It's meant to search for your nearest cinema and give you film times if you search if you're near a cinema or if you search on a certain day it'll pull it up. Now I've been through Google Now before in another video, so I'm just looking at it on the Transformer Prime, so I'm not going to go into a major detailed search here. In the tablet search you can see it lets you pick which apps it can search. So browser, Amazon. Play music, if you've got music and all these other apps that are compatible with it. I mean, I've been using, I've had Google Now on my tablet for a while, uh, like less than a week. But I have had it on my Nexus S for a while and I use it a lot. I didn't think I would. Not the voice, but this stuff, you know. This is really useful here. So just any bus stop, and this is near my house, this bus stop, and it tells you the times that they're going to leave and where they're going, so um, really useful. The sports stuff, obviously I've used loads, um, I love my sport, so I try and fit as much as it on here as possible. Um, what else can you do? They do the movies, it'll tell you if you've got an appointment, it'll tell you when you should leave, uh, all that good stuff. Now, the other big thing is the whole voice actions and they've updated it. Um, some of the stuff I like is it's really good with trivial stuff. For example, how old is Frank Lampard? Frank Lampard is 34 years old. You can see it's really quick. Pulls up a nice picture here. You can swipe that away and underneath is a Google search. Let's try another one. How tall is Philip Rivers? Philip Rivers is 1.96 meters tall. And again, so you can see how quick it is because it's using the Google servers. Um, but if you've seen the new Siri, Siri can kind of give you the latest scores, and this can't do that really yet. I mean, I've showed you it in Google now, but if you, if, if for example, you search, what was the latest Chelsea score? 
See, it just brings up a web result. What was the last Chelsea score? See, I mean, it brings it up here, so it obviously does recognise it, but it didn't bring it up in a nice card, so that's something they need to do. Also, this isn't conversational, you can't ask it for jokes. For example, hold on. Oh, mind went blank. Um, tell me a joke. And it's just going to Google it, so... But it's good for a random fact, you know. How heavy is the Earth? Earth has a mass of 5.97 to E24 kilograms. Um, device functions, it can do some stuff, for example... Set a timer for 5pm. That got it completely wrong. Set a timer for 5pm. Well, actually, look, that didn't work there. Set timer for, and it did get set to, uh, set timer at 5 p.m. It just brought up a Google result. If we try set alarm for 5 p.m. Setting alarm. And setting alarm works. So you can see, you have to kind of be specific in what you ask it. I press X there because I didn't want to actually set alarm because you could swipe this away. Um, what else can you do with it? Let's try some more questions. Um, how long is the Golden Gate Bridge? How long is the Golden Gate Bridge? So you didn't quite get that. How long is the Golden Gate Bridge? Golden Gate Bridge has a length of 2737.00 meters. You can see what I mean by you have to be pretty specific in what you ask for. You might ask one thing and it just doesn't get it completely and the next thing it will bring up a nice card. So it's not as good with natural language as for example probably Siri is. Um, but it is much faster than Siri. Um, I'm someone that doesn't really want a conversation with my device but I am just going to show you what it can do and what it can't. So let's try some uh, device, some other device functions. Turn off Bluetooth. And if you can read that, that actually says sorry, sorry device features are not yet supported. So at least it's brought up with that. It may eventually get supported. Um, hopefully yes, because you know we want to we want to say turn on, turn off Bluetooth, and it just turn it off. You know, we're lazy like that. So I don't I don't think you can open apps either, which Siri was slated for. Um, which the the old Google Actions or Google Voice could do, but this one now can't. For example, open Twitter app. I just came up with open Twitter, but it's going to default to Google. Open browser. And again, see, it can't really open the apps like it used to be able to, which I'm not completely sure why. It's pretty good with directions. It links in with maps, for example. Italian restaurants near me. And it pulls up a list of Italian restaurants near me, and they are correct, they are in my area. Um, what else can I ask it? Directions to Bedford. Getting directions. Okay, well, uh, it is going to get directions to bed, uh, which is a bit weird because I didn't ask it that. Directions to Bedford. Getting directions. Again, I don't know why. Okay, screw that question. So, yeah, Google Now has some nice features. It has potential is a good word to use. I think it does have a lot of potential. Um, this Google Now bit here, which actually kind of predicts stuff for you, tells you when you need to leave for an appointment, brings up your sports cause, what's near you, cinema stuff, it's all really nice because you don't have to ask for anything, it just does it for you, it just pulls it out. When it thinks you need the information, it pulls it up, it's there, it's ready. That's nice and that is a nice advantage over something like Siri. 
saying that, the voice actions are good, but they need more work. They need more work on natural language. They're good for trivial stuff, um, but you have to be specific in what you ask or it just will not get it. Needs some more functionality like on device stuff, for example, turning on functions, turning off functions, opening apps. Overall, I do like what Google have done here. I like Google Now. I like how it's integrated. I think it's really nice. I th people thought they were just going to copy Siri uh, app for app, but they, they haven't done that. They've pulled out their own thing. You get sports scores, you get what you want. You can set these. It's got loads of options. Next appointment, travel flights, public transport, places. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know, let's hope for more improvements. I'm sure there will be some. I'll see you guys later.